Welcome back to PBIC 2018. We're getting some matches and getting a good feel of who are the little stronger teams and who are the weaker teams as we go through the matches, but only two. We still have a lot more matches to go through. Yeah, we have one more getting ready to come up. We're gonna see the return of our Q Endeavor to the stage as they get mm -hmm. ready to take on uh, Pogus Rascal Gaming. We'll see if Pogus Rascal can really put up a, a fight against RRQ, much like we saw uh, from World Judge Esports Club in our first series, because that was a very, very close one to kick things off on the day. We had a very fast one for our second yes. match, but third one getting ready to come up. That'll be our halfway point, point. then we'll have three more matches on the main stage after mm -hmm. that. Of course, we still do have the secondary stage going on simultaneously, and as we get those results, we'll be chiming them uh, back over to you guys, so you guys can be in the know as far as what's happening on either side, but of course, there is also a secondary stream. That you yeah, can exactly. If you're just tuning into this one, we'll just let you guys know what the uh, score was for, for the second match. Uh, t Ross versus SK, uh, t Ross SKR versus Art of Execution. 5-0, first half, second half for Art of Execution. Though that one was a quick one for 10-0, of yep. course, on Safe House. So it seems like second stage is going a little faster than we are. Yeah, they they're keep the pace up over there. We're getting everybody just moved in, shifted into the main stage. Of course, larger stage. Got to get everybody situated, make mm -hmm. sure that the settings and the PCs are ready to go. But it seems like that's going to be the case here for this third match. So we should be getting everybody into the lobby momentarily so we can jump into this series, which is going to be happening on Sandstorm. Mm -hmm. And exactly, I'm really happy that we're at least seeing some great clutch plays like 2v1 save, 3v1 save with a sniper that happened in the first match, and yep. a plant save with very low HP that happened just in the last match in downtown, and you get to really understand the map, how you can work around the planting side every single time. Yeah, so Jax and Aggressive, the two, I think, standout players for me so far. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them playing incredibly well for their squads and having those clutch performances when it really comes down to the wire, especially for Jax with that 1v3 scenario that we found him in at the very end of that first series. I don't know if he's going to be put into a situation like that again here as we get ready to go into that third match of the day, but if he does, we know that he can perform under pressure, so all eyes will be on him. Oh yes, and the teams for match number three. You have him ready. Going to be RRQ Endeavor versus Poggy's Rascal Gaming. As it is going to be the second time for Endeavor to be up on the stage, but first time for the Poggy's Rascals here. Yeah, they will be making their debut on the main stage. They played our first series on the secondary stage versus Juventus, which they were not able to find that much success mm. in. Three rounds picked up total, so 10 to 3 in the end. Juventus able to get that victory. So Poggy's will have to really dig deep as far as their performance is concerned, if they want to find success against RRQ. They had some stumblings in our first series, but they still were able to pick up the victory against a very tough opponent in World Judge Esports Club. RRQ, I think that they're going to be stabilized. I think they're going to be level-headed as they come into this series. And the onus is very much going to be on Pogis Rascal Gaming to try to get the victory. Yes, and they are not a weak team, I would say because I've seen their qualifiers, and they were really dominant from a region where point playing is really popular, and they can certainly bring the skills down. And they do like Sandstorm, and they're going to be playing on Sandstorm. Yeah, so they at least do get that map pick. That could give them some additional advantages as they get ready to push forward here. You can see the KDs coming in. Mostly positive, a couple of them just hovering just shy of that positive record, but these guys need to play the series of their life because they've already suffered one loss of the hand of the Brazilians, so now need to bounce back and try to get some points on the board. Currently going to be sitting with zero. They would like that to they would like to make that three here at the end of this match, tie up with the likes of the Signature PB and RRQ Endeavor. Yeah, because they were actually playing the first match in main stage and second stage. I don't think they were able to see their each, uh, each matches of the opponent too much. As long as they focus on their own strategy that they have prepared for the map, should be good to go. RRQ, definitely the strongest favor in the tournament, but remember what happened in the first match. They had the 4-0 and then a suddenly a big comeback. They almost had a draw in that first one. Yeah, there's certainly room for upsets. Anything can change in the blink of an eye if somebody just dives in front of that pull. It takes it to the skull and gets eliminated. Things can shift very rapidly. We'll go ahead and take a look at Sandstorm. Lots of methods of approach here 
for the multiple sites. You've got those destructible planks to try to break through. Make your way in on to A. A very straightforward map. Uh, from from blue, you can straight up just go to AB super quickly. Yep. And you can kind of know the you kind of know the angle. It's really easy to throw the grenade onto the road, just to delay the red from rushing into the B side. You get a good idea very soon. You can actually have lots of rushes on this map. Yeah, but also lots of long sight lines that could be used for a sniper. So we're gonna have to keep our eye on next jacks again. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the third match of the day here on the main stage. Pog is Rascal Gaming going up against RQ Endeavor. Fire in the hole! And we'll see who will be able to pick up the victory here as the nades already start flying. And Jax is sniping, what a surprise. Mm -hmm. The first half, and he actually is quite a way just looking at the middle. He's actually out there. Trying to spot the ones that may come around because he's, he got the second floor covered. Yeah, he has pushed further forward than anybody else on his squad, as you uh -huh. can see right here from the overview. He's in the middle of the plaza center area because that's not really the common side where the red actually comes through too early. Making that shot gives a little bit of damage here. Let's go ahead and peel back to keep himself safe. Uh, folks out, you can't really go straight across the bridge until you have that center center side or even at, even the a plaza secure for the red the side hole. so they're slowly Fire moving the out hole. not towards the, the road at all Fire in the hole. Oh, already next jack's gonna be eliminated Fire in the hole. Yeah, able to find that opening kill here for his squad looking to escort that opens That's up a lot forward. of room because they the if they wanted to go towards the road there would be jacks waiting for them but without him now they can just go around to b side too they have a lot more options Playing this one out slowly right now, pushing their way in towards Fire A Plaza. The While the rest Fire work the their hole. way in through Pub. Nades landing in. Fortune not going to be getting the catch, Fire but the bullets the will. So Talent able to answer one back, but Boink does find that kill onto him, and now it's going to be a 2v1, a 1, or, or 2v1, I was going to say 3v1 here in favor. And spots Leo as well, so they can we'll push out. 19 damage there to his HP. The plant going to be coming down as he tries to hold this off, but it's not going to happen. So round one victory going the way of Mission Rascal Gaming. Success. Yeah, having three is just enough to cover all okay, the angles from B to actually come in. The one coming from the back alley, from the plaza, and the low ground. So they had it perfectly covered all the way throughout. So very good start for, for the Rascals here. As Spogies, they will continue to push a little further. RQ, losing Jax in the first round. Of course, he was out there, basically. Yep. High risk, high reward play, but that time he did get shut down. Smoke coming through. We'll block him out. He goes back, finds a shot, takes down Jake. He was kind of expecting that with a lot of the smokes coming down onto the course. A. And then you get the cross, and he's right in that pub, so he should be good to go with the rifles. Working actually, their way through mm -hmm. the plaza. Pogis Rascal not really actually pushing anywhere near that road, even though he, they have spotted Jax towards the B, uh, towards the A site. Oh, right here on the other side of the bar, inside the pub. Fire going to be spraying one down, Fire finds Mike, now finds Point. The There's one above. Nade goes out. Quite make it up top of the staircase there, but now he's going to be looking at Rap Rap. Takes him down to about half HP. Fire himself. In a bad situation with 9 HP remaining, but it doesn't really matter. He still comes up with that kill, and now Net is all on his lonesome RQ, answering back after a rough first round. Looking to even things up, tie up that score line. Drop down, Net. Let's find that drop shot there on the fire. Fire goes down, but he did a lot more than what he should have done. Takes down oh, yeah. three gains, all the information. He stays alive for that much time. Absolutely huge performance from them. A great hold. Now it's coming down net, now dropped down to 10 HP. Knows that he's getting pinched on here from the side. Looks up, but he cannot get the kill. King Leo able to get that finalizing blow. Yeah, look at and that, Jax. Jax coming out with a sniper trying to get the kill, and then All just right, after missing the first shot, just goes back in. His teammates to clear out the final member. And that's going to put them back at 1-1, one -one, okay? As long as they have Jax secured with his defensive position, I think they're good to go. There can be a lot of baiting spots, just like where Fire was last time. Look at this push. Again, aggressive here. All the way out on the Jax. road. This is very, very far into it because they're smelling this that uh, 
Pogi's Rascal, they are not really coming out at all. No grenades thrown at the beginning few seconds of the game. He does have backup though from fire this time, so he's mm -hmm. not advancing by himself. He does have somebody to apply some suppressing fire, mm -hmm. if not pick up some of these kills, but there you go, the first shot coming down. And Another this... one as Net tries to peek him. Fire in the will hole. just be dropping as swiftly as his teammate before mm -hmm. him. Nate's gonna get tossed down here, just smoking off this road. Cutting them off, and now they can wrap around and watch the other angle over towards A. Clean shots happening over again from Jax. As that was a very aggressive move, but with his rifle, with his teammates, so that was actually really well done. Oh. Gets taken down. Yeah. Rap Rap had pushed forward after that smoke dissipated, and Jax wasn't fast enough to get the early peak on the road here. The now Nade's coming out the as they get ready to approach Fire B. Members strong, the rest of the squad will be pushing forward, looking to get the cap here, but King Leo finds one as Mike gets taken down. Going to get the angle by going up here, but you can just be headshotted from the ones that are waiting in the B site. Yeah, the smoke is keeping him obscured. King Leo going to be fine, shots coming down. They kind of have the area of A, but you do have to secure left and the right to get a notice how he's turning back and forth all the time because RQ, they're not, they're just delaying this from happening. They have four members. And they're barely getting any damage and Talon7 has taken just one tag there, falling down maybe 10 HP. And with that final push, King Leo does come up clutch, gets the final kills, Mission and they will go ahead fail. and advance further in okay. this first half, taking the lead. Those are the basics. When you have more members, just delay. Make sure you have a lot better positions and not expose yourself. Wait for your teammates to come and surround the enemy. And that's basically all RRQ does the best. They wait perfectly, take two rounds in a row now after losing the first round. So they got the good momentum going as RG starts off very slow once again. And then whenever they're going to have a lot of this, and then one of these rounds, they will just rush Fire in all of a sudden. It's Fire coming out across the bridge. Cross him down, but none going really towards next Jack. So he is not going to be forced out of this position. The smoke will disrupt his angles a little bit here. He's tossing that frag grenade up top, but everybody else has dropped down. Going back all the way towards the road, but I think it was spotted by one on the road. Yes, King Leo is already out here. Yeah, smoke dissipating, so we're going to be playing forward and scope in with that RB. Even though it costs few grenades at least, you do want to push out from the red side a little further at the beginning of the game, but uh, the Pogies are actually playing way too defensive in this matchup. Nades going in deep, looking for some hits, but not really going to be getting any tags. Instead, it's going to be a charge up the road. Everybody, or Hargis Rascal Gaming, charging through here. Next Jack's going to be missing that first shot, but Talon finds one with an A, taking down Net. Now King Leo and Moza both cutting down Mike and Jake. Severely limiting the resources here from the side of Rascal Gaming. Two members remaining now, just one now. Nobody, because Fire picks up the final double kill there. To close out fail. the round. That's going to be a three to one record All here right, for ROQ Endeavor in the first half. So they tried going into A towards the plaza, towards the bridge, once, once, and, and towards B. All blocked, basically. The one push that they actually had was after taking down Jack, the very first one. After that, all the strategies and the timing that they have worked against RRQ never really worked so far. So what's their next move? Let's see where they choose to go. So far, just poking in and out, looking for some opportunities. Same smokes to dropping down. Yeah, again, it's going to be the nice next track, but oh my goodness! The nade from Next Jack says, okay, cut off my line of sight. That's fine. I don't need it when I have a nade. Oh, that one deep picks up two is dead and Jake both get eliminated. They answer a little bit of damage back on the next Jacks, but the damage really has been done. We need some very clutch performances from these final three members Fire of Rascal Gaming if they want to pick up this round win. You know, one step closer to tying us up here in the first half. As he's basically MVP of the match so far already. Rabat trying to open up A Plaza, trying to, trying to go in a little more, but only with three men when you're covered around from that many angles. Unless you find an open site miraculously, it's going to be a very tough one. Because you still have to go through the pub to the back alley and then go to A. And there are lots of baiting points in the middle. Right now, working their way up through pub. Looking to shift into the back alley, perhaps. Rap Rap still gonna be sitting in the center plaza. Mm -hmm. 
trying to over overnade towards A right next to the door. So he's not really trying to kill, but fire goes in and takes down to wrap up the last one and will get taken down. Another round going to RRQ. Mission Four to one. Fail. The record so far for RRQ. All right, let's move out. Rascal Gaming needs to turn the tide, get as many round wins as they can, if not push this all the way for straight to close out this half. They do not want to get shut out. If they lose here, that's already two losses on the board for them, G-Clef. Mm -hmm. And no they points. successfully actually go above the bridge, take goes, puts themselves into the pub, so that's a nice news, but got two waiting in this back alley. Look at the position of Fire. He's about to bait. And Fire has been picking up multiple kills on these pushes. You saw it just in the last round, getting that double right near the end. So aggressively positioned, some shots coming down, trying to scout him out, trying to maybe force him off this position, but just have a smoke coming through. Fire is still going to be sitting on the corner here with 100 HP, 26 remaining for Mike. That's the pub area where you can get so much. When you push it with the plaza, it can be so far Oh, again. didn't check left. Fire finds one. Nade coming through. Looking for another pickoff. Unable to find it. Goes point blank air. But he still comes up with the kill. Net tries to push back in to get the response, but he's unable to do so. Five to one at the end of the half. RQ take it. Nice baiting movement and position because he was moving up because he saw the grenade coming from all the way back in from the back alley. He didn't really expect another one to be there. That's a real surprise. I'm, I, I do understand why it went, he went for all the push there, but Fire just being in that right place and having clutch moments at the pub. And that's the reason why RRQ can take his first half by one. Well, Fire really making a stronger case for himself to be the MVP, but Plenty of good moments from everybody on RRQ there in that first half, especially uh, for Fire and Next Jax with that double kill on the frag grenade coming out of the pub area, straight up across the bridge. Fantastically done, great scouting by these guys. You can tell that the coordination, the communication is just so very on point for them, but there's still one more half to be played. One round all that Pogas Rascal Gaming were able to acquire, so a tough road ahead to try to get right. that victory. Looking for that five straight wins. Yeah, let's go to the second half. Our Pogies will be, Pogies, Rascal Gaming will be in blue this time. RRQ in red. And Pogies where they actually had very slow attacks all the time, just setting up for their approach, but they ended up losing so much every single time. When they were red, let's see some different styles coming out from RRQ this time. Especially when they have Sniper, they can actually move around. They can choose to go towards the road. So far, just checking the bridge in the pub. Well, getting the first kill. Yeah, still do manage to find that opening kill. Sniper does not need to be involved. See, they're choosing to go A and B at the same time. Net just takes down Tyler. Talon, so we'll have that one for one, but very swiftly thereafter, Fire and King Leo coming up with multiple extra kills. Jack's gonna find one. A frag does clip King Leo, taking him down, but now it's Mike all on his lonesome. And Jax has that corner hounded here with that sniper scope. Right before the B Plaza, he does want to break through. Looking for that one shot, maybe possibly, but he, he, ha he had to go in or else it was going to give him a Mission lot more chance. Fail. So that's gonna be a round for them. Okay. And one go. more round for RRQ, and they will actually be taking that three points again. Yep, now just gonna be the hope of a draw for Fire Rascal in the Gaming, hole. but Fire in the hole. given the way that the Fire first the half hole. and now that first round has unfolded, expect RQ to be able to advance 2-0 so far in the group stage after this. Mm -hmm. and this time, RQ actually going really slow, just like what Pookie's Rascal was actually doing the first half. Getting some information, maybe Fire trying to get a lot more value out of those grenades. Slowly moving out from the base. Fire, in the hole. Fire, Fire in the playing hole. close oh. forward here with Floyd. Oh. Nade gonna be coming down, they push the corner, they're able to take him out. Perfect that, with their own grenade pushing out at the same time, this is what they need to do. Oh, Fire taking a lot of damage though, falling down to 17 HP. Will be able to kite back, keeps himself alive. So man advantage still gonna be here for RQ. But as I say, that Helio will get taken down, but an answering one step from Fire. Finds wrap wrap now Jake. Consistently Fire coming up with the multi-kills. Now it's just two members remaining. Moza will find one. 
as Net does get eliminated, and yet again, Mike is all on his lonesome. And as I say, that fire will find that final kill. Mm -hmm. With that Mission second round win fail. for the second half, they secure their three right, points already. Around. And they will actually have a lot of points for their, for their group, but still got to fill those rounds up. And for Cookies Rascals, I think they also have to just try their best to defend this time because RRQ certainly, they have the tempo because they got this range controlled with the sniper and they're pushing out towards the road at the same time. So six points in the bag already for RRQ. The rest of the team is going to be looking to play catch up. Mm -hmm. and they will have two wins of course each team. Each crew with four teams will have to have three matches tonight. And maximum of nine points, they already secured six points, so they're in good hands for now. Very much so. A lot of nades been exchanged on either side, but no one going down yet. Mosa taking a little bit of damage, but otherwise still going to be in working order. Push around the corner here from fire. Another double kill going over to this man. The nade will be able to kill him from beyond the grave, but the damage has been done. It opens up for the rest of the squad to push it aggressively. King Leo finding the kill there on the wrap rabbit. Now it's Jake all in his lonesome. Bomb. It's such an awkward angle, and King Leo finds the shots again. Another Mission round victory fail. going the way of RRQ. All right, let's move Fire out. just choosing the perfect timing, one just passing by, and then one holding a grenade, not a gun. He happens to find the perfect timing in the perfect place. Fire in so many of these rounds, it's, it's he, him getting lucky at the same time. He's got the skill and the aim to bring those down. Fire has been absolutely instrumental where it was Jax in their first series on Luxville, able to bring that victory through right at the end by himself in a 1v3 situation. This is Fire just popping off and shutting down. Hey, look at Jax. Rascal Gaming completely in every single twist and turn. He's the first one with a sniper gun into those back alleys. Gotta be careful. C4. Rabbat's coming around, he knows it. Five. Rather, ready to go. Shots coming through. Rap Rap just playing this one patiently. This is ready. A little bit further. Opposite. Speed fire going down. Whereas it Moza finds net with it with an eight. Jake in the meantime, back over onto the point. Will get taken out. King Leo pushes his way through, jumping up onto the high ground, wrapping around the back here perhaps. Finds one, looking for two. He gets them. And now three, the final shot coming through straight to the dome. King Leo closes it out Mission with a triple. Fail. And you can, uh, you can actually notice that they were okay, all, all dropping down because they had Jax coming down from the other side. They couldn't really think about the rifle that's down there too much. Had they been able to pick up two with that C5 explosion, it would have been maybe a different story here for Rascal, but unfortunately we're only able to pick up the one. Cannot get that second kill in the next Jax. He was able to stay alive and get that flank off. Net for the moment, just gonna be playing a bit far forward here inside the pub, but he does not want to peek that angle. He knows exactly who is waiting on the other side of the bridge. And look at that, 4-0. One more round. Win. Yeah, just go ahead and back it up a little bit. Get in the corner. <laughs> Get as far away as you possibly can from this man's sniper scope. Mm -hmm. They're certainly taking a lot slower. After hearing a few things, throwing down the grenade, Mike gets one. King Leo spotted perfectly on that grenade. You take him out. Fire tossing out some nades of his own. He maybe gets ready to push in aggressively on the pub, and actually, he will get taken down. Mike able to find that kill. And now Talent gonna be the only one now. Joined by Next, Next Jax to get some kills here for his squad. And yet again, it's Next Jax in a 1v3 scenario to the close moment. out the half. Can he do it again? Well, last night was the B side on a different map, Luxville. Well, he's certainly going towards that B once again. If he gets the bomb planted, then he's gonna have an okay Okay, Chance, just like the first one that we saw with an amazing 1-3 one, one, victory. Scouting out, now watching that left-hand side. Should be looking at the bomb site in the corner. Boink is waiting, 100 HP here. Mm -hmm. He's still keeping that sniper out, not going to be shifting over to his pistol, pushing hey, that, that is close a corner. Kill. And there you have it, Boink will be able to get the headshot. Yes. So another round on the board. Mission here at the success. end for Rascal Gaming. If anything, that'll help bolster right, them knowing how many rounds they can take away from a team like RRQ. Mm -hmm. But it's just a consolation prize, really, at this point. They need to charge forward the remainder of their matches and try to find some success. But, uh, well, point 
He's got the victory for his squad there in the last round, and he will thusly be punished by the likes of RQ with that first nade coming through. Yeah, with that, with that nade and everyone already into the site, you can't really have too many nades thrown into here. And they take good position, look at all the boxes right next to the plant, and they're going to have their one. Planted on B site. The bomb has been planted. The bomb will be coming down, Jake, by himself. 1v5, Red and he'll just get win. sprayed down. So back to back, 5 to 1 victories here for RQ in both halves. They put another win on the board. They now have locked in six points for themselves here today. So already a stunning performance for, from the defending champions as they look to get that back to back trophy win. Yeah, already very likely they're going to move on to the next day with the six points and lots of games. 5-1 actually on main stage, four straight 5-2-1s. Happening from match two and match number three, Pogus Rasko, they were a little too slow with the pen, and it's because what Jax was able to do after the very first round where he was taken down, that was the only round that was they had the win in the red side. Well, one more match to be played by RRQ, and you know, it's likely against the toughest opponent they're gonna have here in this group stage. Juventus mm -hmm. will be their next opponent. That's gonna be our second to last game of the evening. We have one more in between before we can get to that series. So a lot of preparation to do for RRQ, I'm sure. Trying to wrap their heads around how they want to approach that game versus, versus the Brazilians on province. Yep, as well as Kogi's Rascal Gaming in the second match, second stage very soon, but we do have Match number four coming at you guys very soon, and it is going to be between Signature PB versus T Rush SKR. So we'll be having a short commercial break. Stay tuned.